In the previous video, we saw the Retail Plan Pass billing software. Now, in this video, we will understand the different functionalities of various keys available on this page. Let's start with the search button. This button allows us to search for any of the items in the inventory. The item can be searched using an item code, description, category, brand, or just name. If any item is not available in the current store, the item can be searched in any other location. For this select the All Locations button and search for the item. Select the required item from the list and click on this Add Item button to add the item to the cart. You can see the item gets added here. You can also search for the item by clicking here. Next, the Void Item button is to remove any of the selected items from the list. To remove the item from the list, just select the item and click on the Void Item button. The Hold button puts the order on hold and the Recall button opens the order again whenever required. You can see the order is put on hold. Now to reopen or recall the order, just click on the Recall button, and a list of all the tickets put on hold will appear. Select the required ticket. You can now edit the order again. Clear button clears all the items from the list. The receipt button opens the list of all the receipts created for the day. The tickets can be viewed by clicking on any of the ticket numbers and clicking on view. Drawer opens the cash drawer. If the drawer is password protected, it asks to first enter the password. Enter the password and enter. Expenses function allows to input any of the day-to-day -day expenses. To record the expenses, enter the expenses details and save. The payment button is to make the payment for the order. After selecting all the required items click on the payment option to make the payment. It takes to the payment page. On this make the payment. Sometimes, customers may request to exchange or return the products they have already purchased. The exchange button and return button enables the exchange or return of the product for previously billed products. Some stores may allow only store credits or exchange of the product with anything else in the store. In such case return option would not be of any use. Now let's see how to exchange an item. For this, first, click on exchange button. You can see the exchange mode is turned on. Next, select the exchange items and the quantity. Note that the exchange will turn off after every item. To exchange more than one item turn on the button every time. Then select the items which you need to buy in exchange for these products. If you purchase more amount then make the payment for the difference amount. Note that the system does not allow to enter the negative amount. It shows an error message. To return the product, after entering the items to return, click on the return button. It asks for confirmation, click on OK to return the products. Adjust quantity button, allows adjusting the quantity of the selected items. Item discount allows giving a discount to the items. Both the percentage discount and price discount can be added.
The void button deletes the receipt. For this, click on the void button and enter the receipt number. Then confirm. Now, the settlement button is to make the end of the day or end of shift settlement. Click on the settlement button. If any of the tickets are on hold, it won't allow us to do the settlement until the ticket on hold is closed. After closing the ticket on hold, open the settlement page again. Add the details of the payments done in the shift or day. Add the currencies accumulated. Verify the float amount and the expenses and save. Float amount is the initial amount already available in the drawer for giving the change to the customers. Short or expense shows if there is any difference in the cash that is flowed in and out. Note that the expense is the amount that is spent on anything, hence this amount will be the negative amount. Once the settlement is done, the shift will be closed, new tickets will be on the new shift. The functions key has various functions, watch the video linked above to understand the functionalities of these keys.